the holidays, but today I wanted to do a DIY video that you can either do this for a friend for a holiday gift, or it's something that is a really fun like craft that if you're out of school, you have some time off this month and you just wanna do something that is exciting, you can have a few friends over, make some peppermint white mochas and have a crafting party. So the first DIY is today's video and so I wanted to show you guys how to do the chevron canvas. Now, you can do this with paint. You can tape off, you know, all the different chevrons and then paint it and then peel the tape off. That takes a lot more time than doing this. This is actually using duct tape and it's really simple to get the perfect chevrons once you just follow like this easy template that I'm going to show you guys. I think it's something that's really great. It has a personal touch to give to your friends for the holidays because you really have to think about what their style is and what their bedroom's like and what would go good with that. I actually did a DIY duct tape like back to school projects videos where I showed three different back to school projects that a lot of you guys requested that I do more of that and that was actually last year like not this past back to school it was the year before so this video is long overdue since I did that last video scotch has actually come out with some new patterns that I wanted to show you guys this first one is blue peacock and this is the one that I am featuring in the video that um, I'm doing for you guys today the DIY and then there's also this one which is prep chevron which I think is really cool because if you used this it would almost be like a chevron in a chevron it's like we're in Alice in Wonderland or something and then the last one's really fun this one's dotty and it's a really bright gorgeous it's kind of like an orangey ready corally color but I feel like this would be really fun paired with like a bright yellow or a bright turquoise and that would just be like a really cool gift if you have a friend that has a bright bedroom or if you just want to do it for yourself for a dorm room something like that I'm also going to be giving away this chevron canvas that I made, this exact one that I'm holding in my hand in this video, along with an entire collection of the Scotch 3M color and pattern duct tape. All you have to do to enter that is go down below in the comments and let me know what your favorite DIY project would be if you were to win the duct tape. Like, what would you do with it? For this project, you're going to need a rotary mat, a blank canvas, some duct tape in the color and pattern of your choice, a ruler, an X-Acto knife, a light colored marker, and a pencil. To get started, you wanna go ahead and lay out your duct tape on the rotary mat, and my first color is this awesome blue peacock by Scotch 3M Color and Pattern Duct Tape, and this is how much I'll need for my size canvas. And you just wanna make sure that you line this tape up on one of the inch lines. You'll see that it doesn't exactly meet with the next tape because this isn't two inch tape, this is one and seven eighths inch tape, so you have a little bit of a space in between, which I think is perfect. So you want to go ahead and do do that and then I am just going to trim off the edges so that we have a perfectly straight line that is exactly at the same length so that when we're going and cutting it in certain inches and stuff it all just makes sense. Using your ruler and light colored marker you want to go ahead and mark off 15th of a 16th inch. So it's very, very precise, but that's exactly halfway of the one and seven eighths inch duct tape. So you just wanna go ahead and do that all the way down so that you are able to go ahead and slice your tape in half, long way. So I am just lining up the ruler and then I'm taking my X-Acto knife to do this. I don't know how I would do this project without an X-Acto knife. I don't think I would be able to. So I'm just gonna do that on all five of the strips. Whichever color or pattern you want to be the main one in your canvas where you have more of that chevron, um, then that's the one that you wanna do one extra strip of. So that's why I did more of the peacock. And then you wanna go ahead and cut off in four inch increments. And I actually over measured an inch because, well, I'm crazy. So I actually had an inch left on each side. So um, yeah, you can see right there I'm cutting and there's whoa, an inch left. So I'm just taking off all of the edges and then also those inch pieces. You could use them for some sort of project, but I'm just gonna toss them. And then to peel off the tape, you can just use your X-Acto knife the corner. Just be careful not to like puncture the tape. And I'm just going to go ahead and place all the tape around the edge of the rotary mat. That way, um, when I'm working on my canvas and stuff, I don't have to go back and forth between peeling the tape and sticking the tape and all that stuff. So now go ahead and take your canvas and you wanna find the center of it. Again, this is going to depend on the size canvas you're using, but for me, um, one way it was five and a half for the center and the other way it was seven. So I'm just very lightly, so lightly you guys can't even see it, drawing a pencil line down so that you can see the center. 
and then now you are going to make your first chevron so all we're doing is laying down two pieces and exactly going over the corners this one's probably the most important chevron so take your time but you can see i'm lining up both sides and that makes a perfect 90 degree angle triangle and they are so cute so i'm going to start by sticking this on my canvas i decided that i wanted it to be taller so that is why i'm making my chevron points go this way but i'm just making sure that it is centered and then you want to make sure to smooth out any of the air bubbles in it and then when you go on, you can see exactly what I'm doing. You wanna make sure that you tape over to where both edges line up because that is going to keep our chevron uniform and the same size and going at the same angle. And that way you don't have to map out all the different inch lines on your canvas because sometimes when you're going to erase the lines, some of them aren't that erasable. So um, this is just a really foolproof way to be able to make sure all of your angles are correct and stuff. Really the hardest part of this project is just making sure that you're cutting your tape in a complete straight line. And once you have that, putting it together is just like a really fun puzzle that you don't have to think about that much. So I love it. Yay, we have one chevron down and you can just leave the edges hanging over. We'll fold fold all of those over together. So now I'm going to take another one. You can use the peacock color or you can use the um, secondary color, whatever yours is, mine's orange, but you just wanna go ahead and um, lay down another strip exactly next to the original chevron and then go in with your secondary color which for me is tangerine orange, you wanna make sure that the lines match up perfectly and this is going to give you the exact amount of space in between your chevrons. You can make them closer together, further apart, but I wanted mine to be the exact amount of white as it was color and pattern. So I am just laying both of these pieces down to create our chevron, uh, I guess you could call it arrow point top thingy and then I'm just going to peel up this little stencil and we're actually going to end up using this over and over so just put it to the side but once you have your first chevron you don't need it anymore because you're just kind of going off the flow of that and it helps you keep everything in proportion and perfect so you can see now I am taking the um, stencil again and now I'm doing some glue peacock and I'm just going to repeat this over and over Now you just need to erase any of the visible pencil lines and your masterpiece is complete. If you want to use the same duct tape that I used in this video, head on over to scotchducttape.com and there's also a list of all the local retailers so you can find a store that carries it close to you.